Meanest man alive. Toughest guy in the league. Last of the enforcers. Okay, by now, without the title, you'd know who I was referring to, without mention. But really, Ryan Reeves needs no introduction, as the foreword throughout his career thus far has made quite the mark. Yes, pun intended. Anyways, let's just say by doing so, he's made more enemies than friends. And with that, here are the players that Reeves hates the most. Maybe not as brutal of a rivalry here as the others, but over the years, both forwards have seemingly collided more often than not. In fact, the two have been involved in multiple brawls going all the way back to Reeves' time in St. Louis. But maybe this is all just friendly competition and nothing else. Well, to leave you all with reason to suspect otherwise, during an interview with the Pittsburgh Penguins while he was on the team, when asked the question, if you could fight 100 duck-sized Cody McClouds or one Cody McCloud-sized duck, which would you pick and why? As you would expect, his reply didn't disappoint. 100 duck-sized Cody McClouds, I guess, he says. I feel like I have big feet, so I could squish them all. I feel like I already did that with the regular-sized Cody McCloud. Ah, uh, the postseason. The time of year when new rivalries are born and bad blood seems to boil over between teams. And last year, during the first round between the Vegas Golden Knights and San Jose Sharks, was no different. After Thornton, during Game 3, who was reportedly already incensed over not getting the call that he wanted, took it upon himself to stir things up. By introducing his shoulder to Tomas Nosek's head, Following the game, during post-game interviews, Reeves gave his two cents on the incident by saying, I've got a buddy with a grandpa who's going through the same thing. He can't see very well because he's getting old. Needs glasses. If he gets suspended, he's going to have a hard time seeing from the press box. Thornton then came back later after game four with his own verbal jabs by commenting on the scrap between Reeves and teammate Evander Kane by saying, for a 30 goal scorer, I thought he looked good in that fight. It was tough to see Ryan go down like that against a 30 goal scorer. Speaking about Evander Kane, it only seems natural that the two fighters would eventually collide considering they both enjoy a challenge. And for Reeves, that challenge came more than once from Kane as the two were actually rivals in the WHL before becoming professionals. But even after the mutual distaste still presented itself once in Buffalo and yet again in Sin City. Following several taunts and chirps between the two, Reeves and Kane decided to settle things the old-fashioned way. Yet, even after the fight was broken up, the two were still going at it verbally, on the ice and later off of it. As Reeves, during an interview, after being asked about the fight, said, I would have liked a couple more hits. I wish he would have stood up too. And following the question on if he respect Kane anymore for dropping the gloves, he replied with, Yeah, I guess a little bit, he says, but not a lot to be honest. I'm not ever really going to respect that guy. And just in case you didn't think Reeves had a sense of humor, the forward decided to embrace the Muffin Man nickname by changing his profile picture to, you know, the guy that lives on Jury Lane. Well, well, well. I'm sure you didn't see this one coming. Okay, you probably did. As Wilson and Reeves aren't exactly known to grab a cold one together. Instead, the two are pretty much sworn enemies at this point. I mean, after a guy gives you a concussion and um, autographs copies of you in the fetal position, it's pretty obvious that he hates your guts. And for good reason, as Wilson isn't exactly a saint either. So in case you haven't figured it out by now, Tom Wilson's name is definitely number one on the one they call Grim Reaver's list. <laughs> 